Welcome to the Learn DBT Cloud Crash Course. My name is Jay. In this crash course, I'm going to cover how to get started with DBT Cloud from scratch. So DBT stands for Data Build Tool, which is a data transformation development framework that combines modular SQL with data engineering best practice to make data transformation reliable, robust, and fast. If you are familiar with ETL, then DBT specializes in the T, which stands for transformation. So despite that DBT was released in 2016, many companies, data engineers, data analysts, and data scientists nowadays are still unaware how powerful DBT can be to transform data. So I decided to put together this crash course for anyone who is looking to learn DBT. So there are two different versions of DBT platforms, DBT Cloud and DBT Core. Now let's look at the differences between these two platforms. So a DBT Cloud is going to be a cloud-based platform. First, DBT Core is going to be a command line-based platform. And using DBT Cloud, the platform does most of the uh, setup and heavy lifting for you, so you don't have to worry about all the small things. First, if you are using DBT Core, then you have to do all the setups and configuration on your own. And in terms of the pricing, with DBT Cloud, it's going to be a subscription based, uh, based on your usage. So they have three different tiers developer, team, and enterprise, which I'll cover in more detail in a second. First, DVT Core, which is going to be an open source command line tool that are going to cost you nothing. So I'm still putting together the course, but these are going to be the tentative agenda that I'm going to cover throughout the lessons. All right, so for this video, I'm going to basically just cover the intro of DVT Cloud and the pricing uh, structure. Then I'll cover how to set up Google Bakery in Google Cloud. And that's going to be the database system that I'll be using uh, throughout this tutorial. Then I'll show you how to set up DBT Cloud Project. Then we're going to set up your Bakery database connection in DBT Cloud. Then we'll learn how to create profile and project files. Then we'll learn how to work in models, set up tests, generate documentations, and maybe a couple more lessons I haven't decided yet. Now let's look at the practices when it comes to uh, using dbt. All right, so first you will need to have some experience working with GitHub, which is a platform to manage your software's versions. Then you need to have some basic SQL knowledge. And lastly, you need to have access to a data warehouse that dbt cloud platform supports, such as Google BigQuery, Snowflake, Databricks, or Amazon Redshift. Now let's look at the uh, pricing tiers. So first you want to navigate to getdbt.com. And here we can click on pricing. All right, so we know uh, DBT has three different uh, pricing tiers. So for developer, which is going to be uh, for individual users, and it's going to be completely free. The developer tier already includes all the uh, core features and functionalities that you can use to get your start running. And first, if you want to have something a little bit more powerful, then you will need to subscribe to the uh, team tier. And from the teams tier, you have all the features and functionalities of developers' subscription. And you can have up to two concurrently running jobs, as well as the access to the uh, API access. In enterprise tiers basically offers a lot more features when it comes to security, and which I'm not going to cover in this course. Now let's move on to lesson two, which is to set up Google BigQuery in Google Cloud.